Welcome back everybody once again to TJ's challenge map and that is me I am TJ the obscure and we're gonna be heading into the second area in the map Right over there. Let's get the render distance up so That we can see all of the wonderful wonderful area and let's make sure that auto jump is off and that is good to go Boy, I, don't, I think I messed things up there What did I do? Okay there we go. Looking much better now. But as I said, there's the objective is basically right over there. But there are a few other things to explore in this area. Gosh dang it. Including... Uh, a secret area, possibly. Maybe. Can we get over there and destroy it? Yes, we can. I imagine this would probably be the most challenging area with the hard mode on, with the natural spawns. Just because of how wide open it is. Uh, no, maybe the third area, actually. That's, that's possible as well. And there is lots of gold here to mine. So we could upgrade our armor to gold if we wanted to. Um, of course, we would have to find an iron pick first and foremost, right? Or no, wait, can't you mine nether gold? Yeah, no, you can mine it, I think, with even wood, right? Or maybe just stone. Um, I kind of forgot what their potions do. I think they give fire resist. And maybe a few other things as well. Let's get up there and... Take out their spawner and maybe we can even bypass them all together. But perhaps you're taken care of. Oh, he's still coming after me, huh? And of course, um, the giant hole in the glass over here is actually a mistake that I made. But I was like, hey, you know, what? I'll incorporate that into the area. So it kind of looks like the walls are kind of exploding, you know? Is what I was going for. So far things feel a little on the easy side. But that's alright, I'm sure that difficulty will pick up considerably here. Yes please, we will most certainly take that. And the carrots. Alright, and the spiders drop steak. So I probably made this a little too hard to see. I'm not sure if anybody who's played the map has actually seen it or not. I don't know why I opted to destroy this thing when we should have destroyed the dirt block beneath us. But uh, yeah, we got a little bedrock area. Hi. I didn't think that was going to do that much damage, but then I remember that we cannot block. No, we cannot. No blocky blocky. All right, spiders. Let's take out the creeper spawner as well. We're going to eat an apple here. Momentarily. Something is... Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there. And then we're going to make a run for... the thing over here. Because otherwise it's going to get a little hectic. A little hectic indeed. Um, can we get some light down over there, maybe? And over there as well. Alright, and then if we jump up, I don't think they'll be able to get us. Hey, let me up, let me up, let me up. Oh, I thought maybe more skeletons were spawning. Hey, look at all those golden apples. Fantabulous, and we get the jumpy boots. Oh my gosh, it is the jumpy boots. I just wasted all those levels making those boots, too. Um, but with the jumpy boots, we can do the jumpy jump. Uh, on the diagonal? Oh my gosh, okay. Up and out of here. I placed a block for some reason. I have no idea why. Leave me be, Mr. Spider. I don't want to get trapped in here with a billion of you. Okay. That's a trick with those kinds of rooms is to just go as fast as you can. I did not utilize that lesson very well on my recent playthrough of the Red Bull area in Ragecraft. And sat and let a bunch of things spawn and then ended up dying. As a result. Okay, so... 
Um, yeah, we're good to go. And there's still a few chests kind of hidden around the area. But now that we have the jump boots, it's going to be a lot easier to kind of move around and stuff. And get to spawners like this one right here. And avoid... The magma cubes and stuff. There also is a little bit of iron hidden around the area. Uh, and so... We can make a bucket if we want. I don't think it's that necessary. Oh gosh, I think I made the drop rate on the stake maybe a little too high there. Ow. Right. Damn, we go. And let's see. I think there was another chest over there that I forgot to grab. But, oh well. Oh, yes, please. We will take the upgraded armor. And nothing too amazing there, but let's go and exchange those guys. And grab the regen. I have... Oh, no. Okay. I have been picking up the steak. Thankfully. Yummy, yummy steak. And... At this point, I'm kind of wishing that I had done the thing with the natural spawns, just because it's feeling, I'm feeling a little empty, feeling a little too easy on my plate, on my test runs, my test, uh, testing of the map. I remember experiencing a lot more ghasts right now, so I'm not sure why it's so calm, but I know that that will pass here soon. Up, up, and away we go. And originally when I made this area, actually these walkways were like the last thing that I added to the area. I was just going to have the player tower up to grab the wool. Uh, and then I added these. Just because I figured that would maybe not be the best idea. Even though I don't, I don't mind having to tower up to places like that. This would also add a little bit more variation in the gameplay for the area. Helps keep things exciting. Ah! Let me up, let me up, let me up! Okay. And then we break up the spotter. Huh, okay. For some reason I could have sworn that I had something trapped around here. But maybe not. I've noticed that sometimes when I go in and make edits on the map making server, they don't get saved. And I should probably be manually saving to address that, but it's still, you know, kind of annoying. Uh, so basically we have the different little wool boxes there and you're supposed to take a chance take a little gamble on which one it is where the heck do we go from here you guys oh we go down okay i'm the one who made the map i just don't remember these things is it just me Um, yeah, but I feel like I'm not taking as much damage. Is my armor just really that good? Did I accidentally put like plus 50 armor on something? Those are supposed to be extra powered, extra powerful gas balls or whatever. Um, so yeah, I can't believe I just fell and died right now. That, that, that's not cool. Give me some blocks, please. Uh, yeah, that should work. I'm gonna have to... 
probably take some time in between episodes to gather some more gear and stuff here in the second area. And yeah, I guess we'll grab the shield for now. We got that, we got that. I don't really have much in the way of bows and arrows. Oops, okay. I have reset my spawn. Oh, that's right. You can set your spawn now even without sleeping. i would kind of forgotten about that. Oh gosh, you guys are spawning now. So... Um, we're probably going to die again, but I added that manual spawn point set with the command block because I was like, oh, they're not going to be able to sleep because it's daytime the entire time. But uh, that's not the case because of the way that that thing's worked now. I wonder if we're going to be able to recover anything or gear, and if so, oh gosh. Exactly how much. Hey, we got some ladders. Nope. You don't see me. I am not real. Welcome to the third area, everybody. Hey, we got our jumpy jump boots back. And we got... In fact, we got a lot of our stuff back. I'm a little, um... Huh. That's normal, right? In fact, that's not as good as it normally is. I think it's usually plus four armor. And it's just protection one. I don't know. Is it just that we're on normal and I'm so used to playing on hard, maybe? Okay, we still need to go... And get stuff, and we should probably try to get out of range of all these gas spawners. We're also just gonna keep spawning, and it's gonna turn into utter chaos. Especially with how powerful their gas balls are and stuff. Let's kind of back it up here. And get back up to the top. And maybe we can get a better angle on them as well. With our crossbow, because it's kind of hard to hit them from a distance with a crossbow, I think. Although, I've never actually tried. Oh, I was already... I was already primed and ready to go. There are quite a few of them around, are there not? I guess it's about the same. I, I don't like this. We're going to be spawning stuff. Hey, let's go this way now. Because there are multiple paths that you can take. Oh gosh, we have a terrible pick at this point. Oh gosh, okay. Uh, here, I want to do my thingies. Let's do that. And let's put... Nope, we don't need any of this stuff. I wish I had my other bow. That would be nice. There was like a fire resist potion in there too, right? Yeah. And a better sword. I would love a better pick. A better pick. Maybe we should just go ahead and take this so that the blaze can't get to us. And get that back on the bar. Alright. Once we make it to all of them... Oh gosh. Okay. Okay. You guys could stop, please. Oh, man. Are you the trap? No? Huh. I thought I had trapped one of them. But I guess not. So, all of these are actually decoy wolves, and the real one is up above... up top here, which is not totally... um... hidden, right? You can still kind of sort of see it. Got it. I don't need to do that. We can just grab it. And we got the red wool. Fantabulous. And let's see if we can safely make our way out. I'm trying to remember like what else I put in this area exactly. Does this have feather falling? Yes, we got feather falling four. 
Because of course we do. Okay, let's go this way. Howdy there, gentlemen. Just want to come over to see what is in the chest, please. Oh, don't blow it up, though. Don't blow up my chest, please. Oh, no, no, no. Place the blocks. Place the blocks. Place the, all the blocks. All right. Need some more gold? Sure. We'll take it. I'm so sad that I lost both of my good pickaxes there. And we need to be picking up the gold so that we can actually make use of it. Make some golden carrots. I think it's like right around here somewhere, is it not? I think it was further over, actually. Oh gosh, okay. Ow, you actually hit it kind of hard. Um... Go away, go away, go away. Oh man, oh gosh, I jumped a little too far here. Let me in, let me in, let me in. Oh man, jump boost. It's fun, but it may get you killed. Will you guys stop? Stop attacking me, please. I don't even know how you're still able to spawn. You should all be just not in, non-existent at this point. Hey, we're we're farming the steak though. Oh, that's right. It's a uh, an attack buff for those who like the attack buffs. And that is not me. I do not like the attack buffs. I like the speed buffs. All right, let's get some more blocks on the ball. I don't have a helmet still, huh? Gosh dang it. Don't get stuck in the webs! Don't get stuck in the webs! Don't get stuck in the webs! Oh my gosh! Gas balls fly in my face! Whee! Oh gosh. No! Hide! 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 Regen the health. Anything? Nothing? Okay. I'm trying to remember. Is there anything else? Over here. In this place. I think there, there are a couple of chests that we missed, actually. No! Think about it, that chest. It's never gonna make it. Um, nope, nope, nope. That's the wither stuff. There is this chest down here, too. I think there was... Well, actually, each one of the fake ones has a chest in it, which either has good stuff or bad stuff. Oh, that's a trap. Okay. Well, then... We don't need that. We are going not... Oh, gosh. Okay. Jumping over the balls. Jumping over the gas balls. The explosions. So many explosions. Now I don't feel too powerful, so... I don't know. Maybe it was just the spiders are not doing as much damage as I wanted them to do, or... Something isn't doing enough damage. Ooh, gosh. I love super-powered ghasts. They are so much fun. Precisely for that reason right there. All right, let's just get out of here with the wool for now. And uh, we'll come back next episode, do the final area along with the bonus objective. But that's going to be it from me for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.